former PP government was labeled the most corrupt in this country, says AFC leader Kemraj Ramjitan. Guyanese woman murdered in the Bahamas, and NCN is still reneging on reinstating its sport editor. News in depth with Ivor Wharton begins now. With the news, I'm Ivor Wharton. First up, leader of the AFC Kemraj Ramjitan has labeled the PPP the most corrupt government as he responded to allegations of corruption made by opposition leader Barrett Jagdeo. In response to allegations of corruption being leveled against government by the opposition People's Progressive Party, leader of the Alliance for Change, Kemal Ramchatan, said the PPP was the most corrupt party to have governed Guyana. Ramchatan made the comment at a press conference hosted by his party at its headquarters. What those, uh, the, those um, forensic audits have proven, and what so many other things have proven, is that the most corrupt government was his government and his party's government. And indeed, those guys know the tricks of the trade better than this government will ever. And that is why they're so good in the opposition now. I concede that. Ramjatan said while members of government had made mistakes, they have tried to fix them. As he said, the AFC has not reneged on its promises to the Guyanese people in response to former Auditor General Anal Gulsaran's statements. All of that, and thank God they were there to save the day in relation to the bond and to open our eyes to, to, to it all. And I'm proud of them. But what they did with all those things that they did prior to us coming into government. People must talk about that. You know, I want to make a statement here, the criticism that is coming our way, and of course, we, we appreciate it, is that we would not have gotten any of these things from the Jagdeo kind of administration. We would never have had. And we, as I said, will make a couple of errors, and it is happening. But don't, in a sense, then guillotine us all for it. It is wrong, and it could cause problems in a democracy. Executive member Kathy Hughes said opposition leader Barra Jack Deer had no basis on which to level accusations of corruption against the government. We will return with more news after this break. Extra beer is the beer to drink. Grab one, no, no. Grab one, no. Drink extra beer and come to your senses. Enjoy a great extra Pilsner beer, now available in regular and light. Taste real smooth with no hangover. It's the perfect beer, according to Drinker's Review. Me drink beer in a real life. Distributed by the wholesale distributors in the stockbroke market. Telephone 683-9500. Extra beer is also found in supermarkets and stores nationwide. It's the perfect beer. Hey, looky there. Let me go and take your boots. Boots? No, my mama. I ain't gonna get a lack of teeth in a big stinky 30 second boots. Plus, it can be more cheaper online. And don't get my favorite color, pink. Let me go on. Online shopping. Cheaper, faster, better. Pass back. Guyanese woman found murdered in the Bahamas earlier today. A 35-year-old Guyanese woman in Bahamas was this morning found murdered in her apartment. Marissa Bowen, a high school teacher at the Charles Sanders High School, was found stabbed to death with blood spattered across her apartment by police. Concerns arose after the educator did not show up to work, leading police to check her apartment. According to media reports from the island, loud screams were heard coming from the woman's apartment this morning, but no one called the police as the screams ended and neighbors thought it might have been a domestic dispute. Bowen graduated from the Cyril Potter College of Education and the University of Guyana. Her relatives have been informed of the murder. Only this morning, Bowen's daughter returned to Bahamas. I sell swaggerific. Spaniard me like staggerific. I Spaniard. Drink a stag. When the stag give me a hand on the whole place. Turn up, 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 Attitude. Give me attitude. Next. Action. Guys, where's the ice cream? Cut, cut! Mm. 
and four delectable flavors, the new Super Premium Royal Ripple Ice Cream is smooth, unbelievably rich, and far more affordable than you think. Royal Ripple Super Premium from Sterling Products Limited. Extra energy, drink a number one. Multiply your energy to the drink one. Extra energy, drink, extra energy, drink. Extra energy has a better taste, less caffeine, less sugar, and is enriched with vitamins B6 and B12. Extra energy, drink me one thing. Give me the energy night I'm running. Extra energy, drink, extra energy, drink. Visit the wholesale distributor in the Stabbrook Market or call 683-9500 to order yours today. Extra Energy Drink is also found in supermarkets and stores nationwide. NCN Management stands by its decision not to rescind the suspension of its sports editor, Giselle Archibald Hawk. The saga over the National Communications Network, NCN, continues one day after President David Granger added his voice describing the one-month no-pay suspension of the sports editor as harsh and unwarranted. Today, NCN's management met with the Clerical Workers Union, CCW, and a solution to this problem seems nowhere in sight. We requested from management um, our remorse. And to give Ms. Hawk a second chance instead of a one month suspension to reduce it to a warning letter on this issue. Um, the management team said that this matter at detention with the board. That was president of the CCW, Sherwood Clark. He remains optimistic that both sides can come to an agreement and the sports editor will be reinstated soon. Giselle Archibald Hawk was suspended for one month without pay by NCN's management after she publicly criticized a junior employee for asking the president about Pokemon Go. Chief Executive Officer of NCN, Lennox Kernett, was directed by Prime Minister Moses Nagamoto to apologize to anchorwoman Natasha Smith for barring her from reading the news due to her pregnancy. This newscast understands that an apology was issued to Ms. Smith by way of a letter from the CEO. That's a wrap for tonight's edition. Do join us next week for another edition of News in Depth.